Hello student. Today we'll see features of ADC. So this is basic block of ADC. If you'll take any ADC, these are the basic parameters or we can say basic requirement of any ADC. So this D0 to Dn or D here D0 to D7 is how many bits? It is 8 bit. 8 bit. So we call it as a 8 bit ADC because it gives the whatever the analog value uh, as an input it gives the 8 bit digital value. Now V in V in See, V in is analog input value. Analog input value. We can interface any sensor which output is analog. So in ADC, this comes with N channel ADC. N channel ADC means how many sensors we can interface. In some of the ADC comes with the 4 channel, some of the comes with the 8 channel, some of the comes with the 10 channel. Which IC you are going to choose or which configuration of microcontroller you are, you are going to choose is depend upon it. In our peak 18F, we are having 8 channel ADC with 10 bit output. 8 channel means we can interface. 8 number of sensors as an input analog input to pick 18 to get 10 bit binary data. This channel selection will be select through the select inputs. We have to give some configuration. Then start conversion, start conversion. We have to observe this start conversion and end of conversion every time while doing some ADC interface interface. Then most important V reference, it is not a VCC. It is V reference, we can give this V reference value from VCC to any minimum value. We can give this V reference from VCC to any minimum value. So in ADC, there are two important aspects are there sampling rate and resolution the sampling rate is a measured by using samples per seconds where units are in sps or if we have sampling frequency it would be in hertz samples per seconds we know the frequency is equal to one upon time here s fs is a sample rate or frequency the t is a period of sample or time taken by adc for the conversion if the sampling rate is low and the frequency of signal is high the adc will not able to reconstruct the original analog signal which will cause the system to read inaccurate data see in ADC, it converts the analog or continuous signal into discrete signal. If the sampling rate is very low and frequency high, so what happens? The aliasing may take place. What is mean by aliasing? It is overlapping of signal. If we call the aliasing, the reconstructed digital signal is reconstructed. It is different from your original image from the sampling. So microcontroller will not detect exact digital value for that input analog value. It calls mismatch. So we have to take care of your crystal frequency. 
then next important topic is resolution of adc the adc has n bit resolution where n can be 8 10 12 16 or 24 bits in earlier lecture i explained that analog input voltage with adc 3 bit are given what i have given 3 bits so 2 raised to 3 it will gives 8 number of level so same thing if 2 raised to 8 is there then it gives 256 combination if i take 2 raised to 10 it will gives 1 0 2 4 means what it will break that signal into 1024 levels if i choose higher bit resolution we can construct the digital signal similar to input signal higher the resolution adc provides the smaller step size this is input signal and this is output signal for that analog signal so this number of step size if i take a higher resolution the step size will smaller so we get exact same as input signal as you increase the bit length the levels increase as the as you increase the bit length the level increase making the signal more closely represent the original signal here is a 16 bit adc so 2 raised to 16 is comes with 32000 2 raised to 16 it gives sorry it gives 65536 it gives the level of 35536 then conversion time in simple word we can say conversion time is time taken by adc to convert analog value into digital value this conversion time is dedicated by clock source connected to adc so adc configuration also has a own sfr we can configure our adc so they they are also having their control registers so in that control registers we can assign clock source see crystal frequency are given to only your microcontroller so that one clock frequency is sufficient we have to just configure it because we are using inbuilt adc in peak 18 f458 so only that clock frequency is sufficient to adjust the conversion time this conversion time is dedicated by a oscillator of crystal frequency connected to osc pins now v reference in block diagram i already shown you that v reference is input voltage used for the reference voltage of adc even though it's your adc is inbuilt in microcontroller the v reference is separate pin is given for that microcontroller along with the res resolution of adc it is detect the step size the step size is equal to v reference divided by n n will be the total number of adc so here is some calculation v reference v reference 5 volt so the v in is equal to 0 to 
then the step size will be 19.53 millivolt what is mean by step size of millivolt step size is equal to n for example this is for the 8 bit the step size is equal to v reference divided by n v reference if it is 5 divided by 8 bit 8 bit 2 raised to how much it gives 256 256 so 5 volt divided by 256 it gives 19.53 millivolt if i will decrease the v reference see the difference of step size if i will reduce the v reference the step size is automatically decreases and you will get almost near about digital value this is n is nothing but 2 raised to resolution or bit is equal to length for example if i'll take 2 raised to 10 then your n will be 10 2 4 it gives the n will be capital n will be 201024 the digital data output now the digital data we can predict with exact step size digital data output is equal to v in divided by step size step size we already know the v reference we already know the v, from the v reference we can calculate step size and we know the what is the exact in output of the sensor then we can find out digital output to cross check our hex value or for example if i want to set some threshold in microcontroller i'll give a best example like temperature sensor in temperature sensor if the room temperature goes beyond the 40 degree celsius the microcontroller will automatically turn on ac or fan if i'll set the threshold value for 40 degree celsius then microcontroller will observe the hex value or digital value from the input of adc and it will start the fan so if i know the digital value what will be the digital value at the 40 degree celsius i'll assign that threshold value in my program in adc following steps must be followed for the data conversion first observe the v in select the channel signal channel because in earlier what i explained there are more than four channels are available three channels are available so we have to select from the select bits so which channel we have to consider for the conversion then active the start conversion signal to start the conversion of analog input keep monitoring the end of a conversion signal after EOC has been activated, we read the data out from the ADC chip. Thank you, student.